first of all congratulations and welcome you and your classmate in class 12 we the teachers principal vice principal and other supporting staff tried and trying our best to provide online learning facility students you already know what to do what not to do in this lockdown due to corona virus pandemic so let's start it today in this second video lecture we are going to learn getting started with mysql under this topic we will learn mysql downloading and mysql installation but student if mysql already is stored in your system no need to disturb it for learning purpose all version of mysql are almost same now how to download mysql go to the google write down mysql press enter the very first option click here on mysql now you reach to the mysql website click here downloads then we scroll down this is my mysql community click here then there are number of option but you have to click here mysql installer for windows now here two options showing one is installer web community one is showing installer community simply you go with this second option now click on downloads now here is demanding for login and sign in no need to do just go and click here no thanks now you can save your file but i have already saved so i am this time i am cancelling this one but you save for downloading now look how to install mysql okay so this is the place where i already downloaded my mysql installer so just do double click now preparing to install yes it's take time depends on system okay now click on s okay so here this is showing many option developer default server only client only full custom some of you suggest to do the full but i am not suggesting so just go through with this default option developer default now click on next then here there are two packages requirement but no worries just you click on the next okay now here so in this is one message okay one or more product requires have not been satisfied okay do you want to continue yes do continue as and click here execute here the installation is started now it take time depends on your system but here i am doing fast forwarding now click on next next then this is look here this is the architecture of my system next next then next now type the password what the password you want to set for your my school database so i am keeping very small password but it is not recommended okay now look here showing password strength weak but you can use 
but it is not recommended you can use another one also okay next then simply next then execute services list changed okay now finish then again press on next 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 now again you have to type password so what the password you set earlier the same password you have to type here but this time i'm doing wrong uh, wrong, wrong password and then i'll check so I am simply typing any password and now I am putting click on check. Now look here, this is showing connection failure. So what you have to do, just type the same password, whatever you typed earlier. Okay, now check. Look, connection succeeded. Now press on next. Execute. You're running a script okay now finish then again click on next then finish here yeah, started my SQL. so this is my SQL workbench no need to use this one close it this is my SQL shell okay close it no need to use okay i'm closing this one also how to use mysql so simply press window button type mysql and now here there are a number of options showing mysql cell mysql command line mysql workbench mysql notifier okay just click on mysql client now this is the window for mysql just type here your password and press enter now you are connected to mysql server so just start check right with any command I'm putting show databases so it's showing so here my SQL has been installed successfully without any error now close this now student look here how to create shortcut for my SQL so go to your PC then C drive program files then mysql here is one folder mysql and then here mysql server then there is one folder bin and there are number of programs here of mysql so what you have to do select the mysql program only so there is one mysql program okay this one. okay so what you do just right click create shortcut but window not allowed to create shortcut here so um, want to keep sorry you have to keep on desktop so click yes okay now close this but here you have to do some changes so here go to the properties now in this property here this is the target in the target at last you type first give a space then hyphen u then in single quotation or maybe in double quotation write down root the root is the default user of this mysql and then again hyphen p p prompt for password okay now press on ok button now double click on this icon now this is showing mysql just write down the password password is connected now student look here how to connect to your mysql server with command mode so you can press window button just write down cmd this cmd is a window command just write down cd backslash enter then write down cd cd stands for change directory and then write down E R O and press tab button automatically it will show program files now backslash then 
type my and then tab this is showing my SQL then backslash then again type my and just press, press tab this is showing my SQL router but we not we don't need this time router just again press tab no okay now this is showing my SQL server then put again backslash right here bi and then tab okay now you are in bin folder of mysql press enter now just type here this command mysql hyphen u better you write down mysql and then press tab then it will be exe so hyphen u you stand for user then right here root root is the default user then minus p this hyphen p for password now press enter now you are connected with your license so here student i completed this first uh, video lecture i hope you like this and enjoy this uh, video so uh, in case of any doubt you can contact me and finally stay at home must thank you